Okay, BB40 back with another video. I'm starting a, a series of videos on a, a game that's new for me, but it's been around a while. This is called Zombies Zombie Uprising. And each time you get in, each day you get a, a chest. Actually, I think it's every half a day. So you get in there twice a day, you can get a couple of chests. And those chests you open up, I'll show you, they're called cases actually. If you look on the top right, the bar, you got play, guns, melee, avatar, cases. You open up the cases and you can open up the, each case individually and you get uh, certain credits for it. But I'll show you that later on here. So guns, starting off with guns, you have different tier levels of guns. And in order to progress to the next tier, you have to purchase everything in the previous tier. So I was on tier four earlier this week and I couldn't figure out how to get the tier five. And a friend of mine, Tara, said, hey, did you get that? See the whole way over to the right, it says Barbarian. <laughs> you gotta click on that too and buy that too. They just force you to buy everything before you can move up to the next level. So I wanna show, and it's going through the guns, and you see each gun has certain ratings of so damage, reload times, fire rates, the amount of ammo it carries, and uh, recoil effects and the spread. So I, I mainly focus on damage first. I'm interested in damage and I also look at ammo capacity. Those are the two things that I consider to be important in the game. So you see this gun here has a lot of damage. It's probably a, a type of shotgun, but it probably doesn't fire very quick. Um, a lot of these, that gun right there I use for a while. It's a very good gun. You see how strong it is. It does have a decent amount of ammo, especially when you uh, pack a punch it and get the uh, increased ammo capacity cola. So, and this, there's a lot of different guns to choose from. This really has, I think this game maybe has more guns than Zombies Recurl has. Zombie Re Zombies Recurl has 108 guns in a mystery box. <laughs> this game, I think, has come pretty close to matching that. I think you have uh, 10 tiers all together, plus an event tier. I'm not familiar with that event tier all the way to the far right. I have to uh, learn about that one. I haven't done that yet or tried that yet. I don't know if I'm even eligible for it yet until I get past tier 10. <clears throat> As I was saying, you got to get through each tier. You have to buy everything, buy all the guns in the tier before you can move up to the next one. So I just finished with seven. I'm now on working on number eight. But every gun in number eight, and the, the RPK is the one I really like right now. It's what I'm using right now. It's fairly strong, it has a good amount of ammo. So I, I get a lot of use out of that. And I might try this one out since it has a large amount of ammo. I'm going to give this one a try sometime too. So when you move up again, um, you see I'm on 8 now. I've only bought three of the guns so far in 8. And I bought the uh, secondary guns and uh, the perk. And here I clicked on the melee, which is next to guns. And these are all different melee weapons that you can get in the game. The top numbers you see are the dollar signs that equates to the dollar sign right at the very very top above cases you see my i have seventeen thousand six hundred twelve game dollars you need that kind of money to buy these weapons or you can buy them in game passes especially those are laser swords there's a lot of game passes for those in different colors kind of expensive though i think like seventeen dollars each so i'm not sure i'll be buying any of those really but i need sixty thousand cash to buy this katana you know, game, game money. And a lightsaber, I can actually get one lightsaber if I save up $75,000. Get it. <laughs> Otherwise, that one here is almost $14, 1337. I don't know where they come for these numbers from, 1337. Kind of strange, but anyway. The double one looks pretty cool. I might get that sometime. A double edged red one. I like the cyan. I like blue, is more of my favorite color. <clears throat> It's funny, right now I just have the standard starter knife is what I got. Um, <clears throat> and actually the doing meleeing is pretty effective in the game. All you do is, once you activate it, it's usually the number three key, it's in the third position. Your primary gun is one, your secondary gun is two, and the melee is number three. If you happen to have a, an RPG rocket launcher or something, that'll be in slot number four. And if you open up the mystery box, it goes into slot number five. So I've actually used the melee. When you activate it and you hit number three, you, all you do is click like you're shooting. You click the mouse button and it, and it activates it. Now here I didn't realize that uh, 
I was playing around in here, and these are all outfits, I think, that are free. Don't cost you anything. You can create your own military outfit here in the game itself. I noticed a lot of players have these military outfits. It's like, did people go out and buy these accessories just so they could play this game? I said, no, you don't have to buy them. You can get them all right here. You can create your own, I guess, basically go in here, I don't know, naked? <laughs> and uh, put on all these different uh, military um, outfits and hardware that you want. You can select and create your, your own soldier character within the game itself, <clears throat> which I think is pretty neat. It's a nice extra that uh, you don't see in a lot of other games. <clears throat> now here's the cases, and I happen to have uh, some copper. I'll show you the copper one. All you do is hit the open right there, just click on the open, and it'll go through almost like a slot machine kind of th deal. Whatever it lands on, that's what you win. <clears throat> I just happened to get over the line for $5,000, which it added to my green up top there, you can see. <clears throat> so I'll open a couple more so you can see what it's like and, and what some of the options are. You get uh, an upgraded chest is an option you can get. Uh, most of them are just $500 toward your, your cash earnings. And there's even a couple of uh, skins in there that you can, you can sometimes land on a skin and win a skin. For your for your guns I almost got the skin but instead I got a silver case so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna open up the silver case so go over to the silver one just click open and lucky enough I ended up getting a gold case <laughs> on the first spin ended up with a gold case so I'm just gonna open up that one and all it does is just give me it gives me like 5,000 uh, game dollars So that's how the cases work and everybody earns these cases just automatically now this one here i'm not sure how this works here these different options and these rewards i don't know how to access these i clicked on unlock prestige one but it wouldn't unlock it i'm not sure how oh it says you have to get all 10 so this is the prestige you see in the top right the new prestige that's in the very very top right that yellow when you get all 10 levels completely unlocked, if you actually play this game enough and get that high, then you can come into here and buy these and get these. Almost like game passes. I don't think they cost anything. I think this stuff that you'll earn uh, as a prestige player. So getting back to the guns, uh, you see I already added some skins to my gun. You see right at the top, you can click on mods and you can click on skins. You can modify the gun, add different accessories to your guns. And you can add different skins, like uh, color patterns and things, to gun. And when that gun there is actually able to make it two-tone. I may even be able to make it three-tone. I'm not sure if there was an option for the ammo cartridge. Now up the very top there, you click on those, you see this. Uh, this is the game passes that you can purchase. And there's a lot of them just uh, like a whole set of different types of uh, melee weapons. But there's also options for getting additional bonus points, almost like a, in other games where you can double your experience. But this is like a 50% increase or 25% increase. Not too expensive, like 250 and 500 Robux, and not too bad. The next one is interesting. Um, it shows your personal um, record, your, how well you've done in the game so far. And for some reason, I'm still registered as only a guest. Uh, I don't know why, but before I was, uh, I think I was a specialist at one time, but um, it says there there's something about going into, um, in the social server, not the group's web page, but social server. I got to figure out where that is and do this little thing to get my proper uh, rank for my level, <clears throat> which I think I'm already close a past uh, a past sergeant I'm at level 35 now <clears throat> and the other ones I'm not sure how you get I think you have to uh, there was a special events that you have to join or, or be a part of in order to earn those other higher rankings this kind of talks about it a little bit here now here's a whole bunch of badges that you can get in the game they really have a lot of badges you can earn in the game 
some pretty basic badges like upgrading a weapon with the pack a punch uh, some of it just leveling as you get higher and higher levels you earn a badge I think the highest level badge I think is a level 200 oh, I'm sorry I think it's you actually uh, for kills it's like 2 million kills is the highest badge but the other one I was thinking of is uh, let's see if we scroll down to see it oh how many rounds you actually survive you can survive 200 rounds and get a badge which I think uh, you gotta be insane to do something like that because honestly um, it takes me two to three hours just to get to you know 40 rounds these games the rounds are take a long time they, they as you go higher and higher it takes longer and longer like most other zombie games so I mean you've got to probably be in here for two straight days to get a round 200 badge to go 200 straight rounds and earn that earn that badge that's something I, I don't think I'll ever be doing <laughs> I've done some of that in the past, but no, I'm not going to do that again. And not in this game, anyway. So here's the different cases you can open up. Like, I guess you, I think I, yes, I showed you the cases already. So you see how that works. Kind of like a little slot machine. They just, when you open a case, it just scrolls through, and whatever it lands on, that's what you win for that particular type of case. And the higher the case, like the, uh, the blues in the upper level cases, you get more and more money or more expensive, uh, options that you can land on so we're looking at guns and you can just close that out at the top there if you want to so those are those options up there and again getting back to the tiers you see i'm on number eight now what i did is i got the doomsday which is only tier three and it gives you extra speed the doom slayer and that's what that's very very important it seems in the game especially yet if you're going to go in hardcore or apocalypse modes you want to be as fast as you can so you can try to outrun the zombies or outmaneuver the zombies and every bit of speed helps i think that's more important because you have colas in the game that you can get to help you reload the guns quicker add more ammo uh juggernaut you know all these things uh, are some of the options you can get in the game itself while you're playing the game but the speed in my opinion <clears throat> is the most important one i mean i've heard a couple of times with some of my ammo some of my guns I'd run out of ammo so the extra ammo might be a good one too but uh, I'm sticking with the extra speed for now that's that's what I really like it looks like a play went down so I'm, I'm pretty much done showing you everything here just remember in order to move up to the next tier level you gotta complete you gotta purchase every single gun and accessory that's in the tier that you're at right now with the starter tier now there was also a starter um, game pass we can get the first three tiers with the game pass and that was only about uh, I think it was only like five five hundred robux it was pretty cheap I think I may have done that when I first started this game so I had the first three levels so <clears throat> I just went into this map and uh, I'm gonna show you the different cola slash candy machines there's different machines in here that you can purchase uh, upgrades as you're playing the game as you earn points <clears throat> now this one here I'm trying to find the name of this I keep forgetting the name of this particular map um, I think this is Nuketown XL this uh, actually I think about a dozen if you include the boss rounds in this game there's about a dozen different maps at least in this particular game which is pretty cool and most of them are good size there are a couple of them that are a little bit smaller so now each in this particular map the usually the machines match the color of the building like this building here is yellow i believe it has the yellow machine which is i think upstairs Let's see if i can find it <clears throat> yeah there it is right at the top of the stairs so this one here is the faster reload speed. It's like a speed cola, only it's a candy. Helps you reload your guns quicker, about 20% increase in reload speed. Which helps a little bit. It's not the best game pass to get. I usually save that one for last. <coughs> but I tend to get all the game passes in the game as I'm playing. Because they all do, when you add them all up, they all do help. Increase your chances of survival and, and getting to higher, higher rounds. 
<clears throat> you see the different type of zombies they have, which are pretty cool. You got skeletons, you got the uh, creepers, guys run on the ground, you got different color ones, different, and uh, about half of them are kind of weak. The tougher zombies are the ones that have like these steel plates on them. So now we're going to go in the green building. This is going to have the green color. It's on the end down there. And the green one is 50% more ammo, which is a good one to get. It increases your ammo. But I saved that more toward the end because there's others I'd rather get first. Rather than the ammo color. <clears throat> that is a good one though. But that first one, the yellow one, the speed one, is usually the last one I get in the game. That one, the extra ammo, I think is usually about the second to the last. Because when you start off in the low rounds, you don't need it right away, the extra ammo. So I'm going to go on the other side. You see the care package? You know, I saw it a little bit too late. It's going to disappear before I get there, which kind of sucks. But <laughs> you want to grab this at the end of each round. Try to find it as quick as you can. Usually you can read it in the, off the distance. And this guy here is a very good one to get. It's revive speed, but also revive you if you go down. So you get a free revive for yourself. And behind it, hiding back here, is the Pack-a-Punch machine. Which, the first time I won this game, I couldn't find the darn thing. I never looked behind this storage container. And here it is, hiding back here. But you see the little globes on top? There's four globes that you have to fill up in the game. And the way they get filled is by killing zombies in the vicinity of each globe. And here's the blue color. This is a very good one. I usually get this one because it also increases your speed another 10%. And like I was saying, speed is very important in this game. So I just went and grabbed it right now. <laughs> Even though I'm just doing this little demo video. Because <coughs> it's usually one of the first colors I get. <coughs> Either that one or the quick revive. And you see, there's one of the spheres right there. It's the blue one. And watch, when you kill a zombie, it just zaps the dead zombie it, like it absorbs the essence of the zombie <laughs> and i think you gotta kill like about a hundred zombies in the vicinity of each globe in order to fully charge it and it takes a lot of a lot of zombies to charge up these globes so now we're on the other side and this is another green building but this one actually has the red um juggernaut color which to me is it's a toss-up between this one and the Quick Revive has been the first colors that I want to get. The uh, Juggernaug is very important because it, it doubles your, your health. It helps you take a lot more hits from the zombies without dying. So Juggernaug is a really important one to get. <clears throat> and I walked right past it and didn't see it when I first came in here. It's over in the corner in the other, in the other room. I'm going to go look upstairs because I didn't see it when I went through the room. I did. I forgot to turn around and look behind me. And it's not upstairs here. I think I don't see it until I leave the building and go outside. I can see it through the window. <laughs> I really wasn't looking around quite carefully enough. I completely missed it. So we covered the yellow, the green, the quick revive, the uh, jug... the... Uh, Pack-a-punch machine. This one here is the Juggernaug that's hiding in this building. I just haven't seen it yet. <clears throat> and there's one more. There's a brown one, which gives you uh, increased fire rate, which is also a nice one to get. You usually get that about maybe third or fourth. There's six of these all together. Here's another case. Let me see if I can get the care package this time before it disappears on me. <laughs> Yeah, I got that one. Every time you get that care package, it, it fully loads up all your ammo and it gives you a thousand dollars or a thousand points toward purchasing other things in the game. It gives you the yellow, a thousand yellow points. Now that was the brown one, which was 33%. And there's the red one. See, it was inside there in the corner and I missed it. I walked right past it. And that's the Juggernaug. It doubles your health, 100% increase in health. <coughs> Very good one again. Usually one of the first ones I get in the game. So the three best ones so far that I mentioned is that Juggernaug, the extra speed, the blue one, and the, the red cross, which is the uh, quick revive, which will automatically re revive you if you go down. But unfortunately, the quick revive is the most expensive one. It's 4,000 points. The Juggernaug is 3,500 points. The... Uh, 
that, that was a quick revive, which is 4,000 points. And the Pack-a-Punch actually is 4,000 points to upgrade each, uh, each weapon on the Pack-a-Punch. The blue one is one of the cheapest ones. It's the, it's the one that has increased speed, running speed. That's only 2,000 points, or $2,000. Yeah, 2,000 points, the yellow ones. And the brown is 3,000 points, which increases your fire rate. You can shoot a lot faster, which comes in very handy. <laughs> Being able to shoot faster, more rounds into a zombie as it's coming at you. Because each zombie takes so many rounds to kill it, and the quicker you can get those rounds into it, the better. And the yellow one, which is uh, increases your reload speed, reloading your weapon, that one's only 2,500 points. And the green one, and if I mention the green one, that's the uh, increase in ammo, 50% increase in your ammo. That one's 3,000 points. Now these drops you keep getting, uh, they show up. That bullet that you see doubles the strength of your rounds that you shoot. So you can take down the zombies twice as fast. Now besides that, there's also a insta-kill, which is really great when that comes up. Especially for killing the armored-plated zombies. <laughs> Anyway, uh, if you liked the video, give a thumbs up. This is just a demo of how to get started in the game and what to expect when you first go in. And what you need to do. You need to fill up the spheres so you can use the Pack-a-Punch. And in other games, I'll talk about other things like the turret and whatnot. So thanks for watching. Appreciate it. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.